Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Corey Duke. And I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. We have an update on the investigation of a deadly police chase over the weekend. According to Sky Took Police, a uh, rider of a motorcycle took off when an officer tried to stop them. And two officers chased him all the way to 32nd in Peoria. That's where the rider in one of the patrol cars crashed into some construction equipment. That a patrol car hit the motorcycle, but police are still investigating whether it hit the rider. Both Sky Took officers are on administrative leave. Uh, police are not saying why they tried to pull over that driver. And today is your last chance to sign up for the 2022-23 Tulsa Teacher Corps with Tulsa Public Schools. Tulsa Teacher Corps is a preparation program to train and place teachers into district classrooms. The program is tuition free and the summer training program lasts for six weeks. You can sign up at TulsaSchools.org. Next tax season, all retirement benefits for Oklahoma veterans will be exempt from being taxed before the new law passed. Veterans received tax exemption for up to 75% or $10,000 of the benefits they received. Broken Arrow Representative Kevin McDougal says that his office got calls from all over the country from veterans saying they would move to Oklahoma if a law like that got passed. Well, it was a wet start to your Wednesday. Let's get a check of that forecast with meteorologist Michael Saker. We've got additional chances of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for this afternoon and this evening. And some of these could be on the strong to severe side, lower into the scale, but maybe some uh, wind gusts 60 miles per hour, hail inch, inch and a half in diameter. So we get a little bit of a break as we go through midday, but then those storm chances increase again late afternoon and evening. And as far as uh, the uh, coverage, fairly scattered pretty much across all of eastern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas may get a little more widespread overnight tonight before everything finally clears as we head into Thursday. Temperatures staying below average through Friday and even on Saturday. Another storm chance on Saturday and we'll bump up those storm chances again in the middle of next week as well.